archives of Prasar Bharti presents the timeless treasure of golden era. Anticipated bowling change. Benny after seven overs, two for 24, comes out of the attack. And the uh, off spinner Azad comes on. Kirti Azad. Hasn't had the greatest joy in uh, this sort of cricket. Played ten matches, is so far only taken one. That was uh, back in Brisbane against New Zealand in 1980. So you could say that uh, he's due for a wicket. He's certainly got something to live up to as an off-spin bowler from India. Following in the footsteps of uh, people like Venkat and Prasanna. All uh, with over 100 test wickets to their name. And thus far in this competition, the slow bowlers have come out of this these matches with a good deal of credit. seems that this uh, in fact will be the last over before lunch in the uh, 27th over and uh, oh, my mistake of course lunch here is at one o'clock not at uh, quarter two two and a quarter hours here before lunch Latest score from the Oval, West Indies against Pakistan. Pakistan going on now to 55 for two after 24 overs. Well, quite a tidy over there to begin with from Azad. Just a single from it. Yes, useful bit of captaincy this by Kapil Dev, bringing the off spinner on just before lunch. There's 15 minutes to go. And he can probably get three or four overs in. When uh, the batsmen are half thinking of lunch and half thinking of trying to get on with the game. And there is the story of the morning's play to date. Binny, the secret weapon, removing both England's openers, both of whom played pretty tidily, got away to a very good start indeed. Six for two, another bowling change. Hinder Armanath. That's 
greeted with a, a fine, powerful off drive. Only be a single in it, but uh, again, it was beautifully struck. And for a change, followed by a very good throw. Shot again outside the off stump, thicker shades, and this time Kamani moving away to his left. You could walk quite well, low down. And Gower goes 107 for three. And David Gower caught Kamani, bowled down Manath for 17. So quite a wise, shrewd change made there by Kapil Dev, and they'll be delighted to see the back of David Gower. is the uh, new batsman coming in and uh, I think he'd be quite pleased to come out there with only 27 overs gone does finally give him a chance of putting an innings together he's been in at the tail end of uh, some pretty useful England scores in this series and he'll be very very keen to establish himself in the hope that he'll be able to retain his place right the way through on his home ground if England win this game What a blow for India. Here, very short, a little bit casual that shot, and a fine catch by Kamani. <coughs> that moving away a little bit off the wicket, but David Gower not really behind the line of the ball when he played that shot. And I'm sure he'll be very disappointed. 107 for three. Oh, we're not to get him. He's nicely away, picked his spot square on the offside, two very easy runs here. Oh, a nice uh, friendly delivery to get first ball. Days very much a change bowler this Indian side. Used to bowl uh, quite a good deal when he started out, but he's developed into such a, a fine player now. His bowling has been somewhat neglected. Struck again very powerfully by Gutting. from the Indian contingent there for uh, Amanath look it straight away in his first over one for three so approaching the halfway mark in this innings 28 of the uh, 60 overs completed now England winning the toss here 110 for three 
lost uh, foul of old Benny for 33. Tavery out for 32. Caught Kamani. And Kamani taking another catch to get rid of Gar off Armadas. Hazard again. Delicately fit down the corner. And uh, Gatton had really to move there. I recall the uh, partnership between these two in the first of these Prudential games at the Oval in New Zealand. It's highlighted by the running of Mike Gatton between the wickets. Gatting now to face. Slight bit of turn there for Curti Hazard. But, uh, just sufficient for getting to help it round the corner. And this coming off the wicket at a very gentle pace. Mike Gatting having all the time in the world to pick his spot. This is the usual format for uh, off-spin bowls of this pace in one-day cricket. Three men pushed very deep on the offside and uh, six on the leg. Aiming to bowl at middle, middle and leg stamp. Uh, full toss. There's one of the three policemen out on the boundary there. Covering an inner ring of three. quite accurate overs there from the off spinner he's been uh, pretty much on length and line giving away only four runs and those four runs have taken England under 1-1-3 for three 29 overs gone and uh, the speed of the off spinner getting through his overs is just helping the scoring rate the boundary. Plenty of wide open spaces for the uh, push single. down there, taking his eye off the ball and with a quiet look at the batsman which allows him to go through for the extra run well, poor piece of fielding there by Patel 
Have plenty of time to get behind it. Two hours, one for eight. And that takes us to the halfway mark. 30 of the 60 overs gone. One, one eight for three. Alan Lamb going uh, very sweetly along now on 20. And getting on four. Both anxious that uh, they don't make any error during the course of this, which should be the last over now, before the break. Kirti Azad to bowl his offspin. Yes, Jim, it's very important that uh, one or other of these batsmen, and Ian Botham, plays the beginnings, if England are going to make this game safe. That's well bowled again. Just held it back slightly, a bit of spin, got him out there a little early. But uh, still met it with the full face of the bat. Quite happy with one. No need to risk a second at this stage there. Well bowled again. Well, it completes the over and indeed the morning's play. That'd be so much consistency and dash in this Blue World Cup. David Gar caught down the offside on Amanath. The action just about to start here under uh, blazing sunshine. And uh, in the comedy box is Frank Tyson. Thank you, Peter. And thank you very much indeed, Peter. And the battle is about to recommence with India staging a fight back after England had got off to an excellent... And after a quick dash from the interview position, Peter West is back in the commentary position in the space of one ball. That must be one of the quickest.
And uh, that looked from the other angle to cut back at him. Yes, it did. A bit high, I think. And fortunately, I think, for Lamb, the point of contact outside the line of your stump. Yes. Lamb easing it away behind square for a comfortable single. May has looked in uh, very good order during this Prudential World Cup. England will be looking to him today for a substantial contribution now that three wickets are down. Mike Gatting needing a big score. England have stuck to a winning, a successful combination. He would like to get some runs under his belt before the side is chosen, assuming that England can win today. This is the man who was recalled to the Indian side in, on tour in the West Indies and had a very brave and successful uh, session with the bat the test matches out there had a splendid series no run a fairly tidy over there from Amanat and one delivery to Gatting kept a little bit low hit uh, the bottom of Gatting's bat as he went forward and that probably is one of the dangers of this wicket there is a certain degree of uneven bounce, one or two deliveries keeping low, and that doesn't really make for good stroke play. A lot of noise over there. I think we might need earplugs to uh, sit over there throughout the day, but they're enjoying life. And uh, it's 120 for three of 32 overs. Fourth over from Azad. Now bowling over the wicket. I think that could have been, uh, it's a leg by, it could have been a fairly optimistic uh, shout for LBW. There's a little bit of spin in the pitch. And the ball was pitched up fairly well, well flighted. Pitching in line with the stumps and with the turn would, I think, have missed leg stamp. Lamb certainly thought, so he's trying to whip it away on the onside. Family through to long on. Just the one. Patil. A dashing batsman uh, down here just in front of the rope. One, two, three for three. Short. Gatting gets it away. Order. A little bit of turn there. Vic Marks will be interested to observe that.
Amanath. Oh! Kept low. Close to the stumps for a shot of that kind. Score of 119 for three. Mike Getting not timing the ball yet. Has made six and he's facing Amanath. No ball. And a bowl of a no ball at that medium pace. Frank Tyson really seems to me to be rather careless. One can hardly say that Amanath is racing up to the wicket. <laughs> and uh, it's very difficult to understand how he can overstride. He is a long strider, however, but it suggests to me that uh, Amanath had not done too much bowling in the recent past. More confident shot from Mike Gatting. Hit straight to a fielder. Yashpal, who shares the cover and short mid-wicket positions with uh, Srikanth. A couple of very, very good fielders. And so we have uh, two men on the offside saving one, three men out. Batsman at the other end is uh, Lamb, who's made 23. Marath on target. Here's the England card. Fowler and Tavare making 69 for the first wicket at four and over and establishing a very promising base indeed. Tavare then got uh, a useful delivery from Binney. He played inside the line. It may have left him a little bit. Caught uh, behind by Kamani. And Fowler got a good one from Binney, the man who destroyed the Australian middle order at Chelmsford and got the man of the match award. Uh, Binney hit his middle stump, but Fowler so Fowler was out for 33, two down for 84. And then a disappointment for England, uh, Amarnath, uh, the uh, sixth bowler used by Kapaldev, picked up the wicket of Gaur, was very well taken down the offside by Kamani. Gaur out for 17. This is Azad. And uh, Lamb having to hurry a bit, good backing up by Gatting. At the Oval in the other Prudential semi-final, Pakistan put into bat by the West Indies, 88 for three after 30 and a half overs and looking to be kept under a fairly tight leash. by getting for a single. Certainly a bit of turn here for the offspin of Azad. Have us having a certain degree of difficulty in timing the ball. Really came down on that very late. 